In the last video, we learned how we can easily log into our website for the first time as an admin. After that, we successfully logged off. So here you can see the screen is visible, which is known as admin panel. So now we will learn about the dashboard section. To reach the dashboard section, as you know, we need to log in as an admin again. So let's log in again. So here you can see we have added the username and password for admin. Click on sign in to reach the dashboard section. So here you can see we have reached the dashboard section. Here you can learn about it. Here are the store views which are visible. You can select it. Right now the default store view is visible. Keep it as a default. Here you can see the default data is visible. Lifetime sales is visible. Average orders, last order with complete section for customers that which customer ordered what. Here are the products which are visible. Last search term which is quite an awesome option is also visible. Here are the top search term which we will discuss in the upcoming videos. Here you can see the best seller section is visible as well as the most viewed products section is visible. On the left you can see new customer section as well as customer section is visible. So here you can see no data is visible or some data is visible which is the sample data. So we will learn about it in the upcoming videos that how we can add a new customer or a product or how we can create an order and track the status. So here other stuffs are visible. Above you can see the system messages are visible. Here you can check. Here you can search dashboard, here is the admin section, account setting, customer view and sign out. If you change, want to change the account settings, if you want to change the admin name as well as other information, you can change it from account setting. Here is a notification section. If you want to reload the data, refresh data, you can easily do it. On the right, you can see some awesome menus are visible. The first one is dashboard. If you will click on dashboard, if, even if you are anywhere on the website, you will straight away reach the this section dashboard section from where you can access the some important settings so now here you can see other sections are visible like sales if you will click on sales you can see some different options like if you want to track the orders you want to check the invoices as well as shipment section you want to check the transaction you can easily check from here the next one is products if you want to check the inventory right now as well as the catalog as well as the categories of the of your website you can easily do it if you want to add a new category you can easily add it from here next one is customers let's say you need to add a new customer or you want to check all the customer all the registered users of a website you can easily check it as well as if you want to check it, which users are online right now and going to purchase the product you can select the non online option going further here you can see an awesome section marketing is available when you will click on it, here you can see the sections are visible. Like for promotion, the different section is visible, catalog price rule, as well as card price rule. This is for discount, which we will be discussing in the upcoming videos. Here for communication, you can see templates are visible. By default, it is providing you with a template without installing an exchange. That's awesome. Here you can see the by default email templates and newspaper templates are visible. You can check the newsletter subscribers. Here you can check the source terms as well as sitemap as well as you can also check the current reviews of your products moving further on the content let's say you want to check the design as well as you need to add a new page to your website and you want to arrange it according to blocks block means that your section should be available at what position on the website you can easily arrange it you can also add widgets here which are also a part of a software want to change the theme or check you can easily do it let's move further reports if you want to check reports all the section for reports are visible here you can see if you want to check the reports for orders invoices shipping or reviews customers it provides you all the reports the next one is stores here you can see under store you can check the order status as well as you can work upon the rating section as well as if you want to add tax rules you can easily add it you can also add tax zone let's say for a particular zone there are different tax rule you can easily add tax rules there with the rates. If you want to change the currency, if you want to add multiple currency, you can easily add it. If you want to add a group of customers, you can easily go through it. If you want to add an attribute to a product, let's say product on the basis of color, you can easily add it. Let's move further. System section, last section. Here you need to go for the configuration setting. Here you can see, you can also check about the extension integration as well as if you want to go for backups of the website as well as want to clear the cache you can go here if you want to check all the users of a website or let's say you want to add a new user to a website you can easily add it 
So in this video, we basically learned about what is the dashboard, how we can reach the dashboard section of our website and what are other menus available on the dashboard. You can easily customize the dashboard according to your own settings so that it's good for you whenever you are logging to the website as an admin, you should be able to view the number of orders right now, notification and other important sections. Thank you for watching.